Capricorn friends, welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name is Annie, and we're going to read your tarot cards here today. This will be a general tarot message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please come into the reading with an open heart, an open mind, a desire to learn something to better yourself. Uh, ideally, I want you to walk away from this reading feeling motivated, empowered, inspired. That's what I like to do here on my channel. If you're not feeling that way, it might not be your message this week, so feel free to check back in the future. Um, and just be open to the idea that sometimes messages will resonate later down the line as well. So, up to you what you choose to take away. I uh, highly encourage you to only take away what, uh, what resonates for you and fits your story and circumstance, okay? Let's do it. Let's have fun. What can we get for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to hear from the tarot this week? Let's split the deck here. Ooh, the magician. All right. Great way to start. You are manifesting. What are you manifesting? Uh, a new home. Um, a long-term, possibly domestic partnership. <clears throat> Some of you may be looking at um, starting a family or, or adding another member to your family. Something unexpected. All right, so interesting. But what's in, uh, what's odd to me is that what you're manifesting is something unexpected. So it's almost like you're... The first thing that I want to say here for you guys is be careful that you're not allowing your sort of negativity or pessimism or just fear to seep into your manifestations because a lot of times this is a mercury card, right? A lot of times we don't realize how powerful our mind is. Sometimes just by thinking of something, um, we, we can like attract it into our life accidentally if we end up focusing too much on it, almost in like an obsessive way. Like if you're worried about that one thing that could happen, sometimes it'll manifest just because it's like we think of it so obsessively. You guys know the drill if, you, if you're, you know, uh, revisiting my channel here, but I don't do fear-based messages. That's not what it's about. But to me, this says you have no reason not to reach for the stars and, and really try and manifest everything that you want and desire. Um, but, and I say this to Capricorn more than any other sign, by all means, go in, manifest whatever you want, but be open to the universe throwing some, some surprises at you. Sort of the idea of having a very rigid structure, a very narrow viewpoint or some sort of foundation, but you're not wanting to stray from, <laughs> I'm almost getting like from the directions. I'm seeing like Ikea furniture, <laughs> like, you know, very basic, simple instructions, but you have to use them, right? Or you'll build it wrong. I, this is all a metaphor and yes it's kind of silly but that's what i mean it's like sometimes there's an unexpected way or an unexpected opportunity that comes in so just be willing to accept that kind of um releasing uh, areas where you may have control issues because ultimately we have to acknowledge that the universe really does want you to succeed the universe knows what is for your best and highest good so you know again surrender uh surrender to the divine while putting in time and effort into your manifestations and whatever it is that you want let's tell let's talk about this tower card a little bit more there could be someone making some sort of um, official announcement about you joining a company. Okay, so for some of you, somebody at your current workplace or, or somehow this is going to impact you, may be making a, a speech or an unexpected resignation, in which case you may be asked to step up or it will somehow impact your role moving forward. That's what this could be too. There could be unexpected communications that come through about your home, your property, your your land, your money. It, there could be something maybe with inheritance or an, and maybe like unexpected money coming to you. Ten of Pentacles is an excellent, excellent money card. Um, and it might be something that impacts the family. It could be unexpected word of a job, but they may want you to work in a different branch or a different location, in which case, you know, again, that might be like, oh, well, this, this kind of threw a monkey wrench into my plan. Um, I want to be clear, I think this surprise has a lot of positive impacts, but you know, with the tower, it might be saying, you've done all the work you can here, now the universe is asking you to grow elsewhere, or continue to build what you've started, but something here needs to be shaken up. So let's talk about this tower card. Yeah, for some of you, it's like your boss is resigning, or they may have, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Your boss may have passed on your resume, your project. To someone else they know without telling you. Um, and, and again, I think they had good intentions, but it may come out of the blue that, yeah, it's like I feel like your resume landed in the lap of some random person and maybe it's through a friend or someone else, but you weren't expecting that that person or that body, that entity to reach out to you. Um, and yeah, for some of you, you feel, I'm sort of getting you feel betrayed, but I think there's a misunderstanding that you're you're jumping to a negative conclusion when it's it's actually something that could work out quite positively for you. 
<clears throat> yeah, some of you know that change is inevitable, but you're you're denying it. You're fighting it tooth and nail. You're just like, no, 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 it's fine. We can keep doing it this way. No, you can't. Not with the tower coming through. So you can resist it or you can embrace it, but usually when the tower shows up, it's like, hey, this is changing. This could be new management again or, or restructuring the company, restructuring, I don't know, the location, the family, whatever this is. Um, I'll be honest, my advice to you would be to pay attention to the warning signs. If you see the little red flags that you think are leading up to this big thing, I would say assume it is going to happen. And then if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't um, pan out or it doesn't end up rocking your world, however you say it, then, you know, you're where you started. But I, I would open this opportunity with uh, or I would welcome this opportunity with open arms. Um, and I, I know that's hard because some of you don't want this change. There, there's a huge resistance to this, not, not wanting to see it, not wanting to hear it, not wanting to acknowledge it. Why? Why Capricorn? I'm asking you. Because because everything's so good. It's like you just achieved some sort of goal and you, you want to appreciate and enjoy what you have. Good. Do that. There's nothing wrong with that, especially showing gratitude. The universe loves it when you, uh, you know, when you remember to be grateful for everything that you do have. But I would say that whatever this opportunity that comes in is shaking things up, it's because you have earned it and you deserved it or you deserve it. But most importantly, it's because if you because you're, you're lacking some sort of growth that the universe has aligned for you in this lifetime. <clears throat> some of you have been waiting on a communication that has not come in for a very long time and it, it's gotten chilly it's like you feel like you got, you were cut off from this connection or this person doesn't like you or you was again there was like an assumption it was never going to happen and then the communication comes through and it throws you for a loop because it's something about the assumption that it wasn't going to happen or this offer wasn't going to be made to you then when it does, it change. That's what I mean. It, it changes your plans. It changes the course of action. It changes your destiny, Capricorn. It's eclipse season, baby. Get ready for it. <laughs> Tell me more. What is this? The three of wands. Yeah, your ships are coming in. That's an excellent, excellent card. This is the sun in Aries. So something about this is shedding a light on on your identity in this lifetime and who you're supposed to become. Interesting that planet Saturn. I don't know if you guys can see that. Planet Saturn is shown in this card. Um, and that is your ruling planet, Capricorn. So again, I, I take that as a positive sign. Um, but this is about going beyond your what you thought were your limits. This is about getting out of your comfort zone. This is about either adding more or moving away from something that you did it and you did it great. But either you need to add more to it or you need to, you know, consider that an accomplishment and move on to the next challenge. What are you calling in here? <laughs> Anxiety for one thing. I don't know. Okay, so what is this then? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm getting a similar message too that somebody, I don't want to say went behind your back, but more or less that's how you initially view it. It's like somebody went behind your back and said, hey, listen, Capricorn's been on my team for X amount of years and they're really good at this. I think they would be good on your team. You should give them a call. Except they don't include you in this. So some other person or friend or boss ends up reaching out to you and I don't know why. I think this feels like a uh, tough love or like a gentle nudge in the direction that you know you've been, you're meant to go here. But you, it, I don't know, it's possible with the tower you never would have done it yourself because you were too fearful. So, you know, again, blessings in disguise, the universe brings this tower moment that completely changes things. And, and maybe it does cause a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of fear, but you're going to face your fear, right? That, that planet Saturn, it's all about facing your fear and doing what makes you uncomfortable and proving things to yourself, right? Testing the limits, understanding how you fit in and how you can improve and how you can achieve your greatest success for yourself, right? Yeah, there's there's something beautiful that comes in, but I'm not going to say it's easy peasy because um, that, that just wouldn't be true with the Nine of Swords. The great thing about this is that you get to control how easy this is by understanding that you're going to probably feel a little bit out of your comfort zone. But the Nine of Swords is about letting our thoughts just run wild. It's Mars and Gemini. So there are some aggressive or unhelpful or, you know, angry thoughts, however you want to say it. Some, it's sort of like being at war with your own thoughts, but you sort of have to kind of piece them apart one by one and understand, okay, well, what thoughts are helpful to me now? And where am I self-sabotaging? Where am I getting overwhelmed by 
fears of, you know, things that could happen or shoulda, coulda, woulda is that they're not even in my control. So why am I worrying about them when they haven't even manifested yet? Do you understand what I mean? You are in control of your own thoughts. You know, some days it may feel like, you know, you are more, more than other days, but this doesn't have to be the scary situation that you think it's going to be. And I don't know, I, I really want to encourage you guys that if this opportunity kind of lands in your lap unexpectedly, it might be a sign that this is the time that you actually do need to step up and, and accept it, to go for that thing that maybe some of you, you just don't think you're capable of it. It's like as much as you want to, you may have a lot of... Um, what is a good way of putting it? <clears throat> Trepidations, yes, but insecurities, deep-seated insecurities. What else can I tell Capricorn about this? What is Saturn wanting to tell them? Yeah, go for it. This is gonna put this is gonna put love in your cup. <laughs> go towards what you love. Um, <clears throat> there's kind of a hopeless, romantic, dreamy quality about this too. So this could be an opportunity that it you again you're watch your negativity or your projections because you may have assumed this this was never going to happen to me like i was never capable of getting this achievement or this job or this person so then when it comes are you ready are you prepared to accept it because you that's the, that's the trick capricorn you need to accept it but are you ready can you get mentally prepared can you get emotionally prepared nights always bring change and movement into our life um, and there could be a very strong emotional connection um, to either the work you're doing here. Um, it feels like sort of you're pouring your heart and soul into it. Or there could just be a very strong uh, connection with coworkers, with friends. Maybe there's a romantic connection. <clears throat> let's see. I want to throw you an oracle card here, but what should I... Oh, yeah, let's do this one. I need to focus on my healing. Eh, I don't want to do that one. Sorry, that one's more for like relationships and this could be a relationship, but I, I don't know. I don't necessarily see it like that. We'll do some of these cards. Sorry, I'm <laughs> indecisive. <laughs> Thinking out loud here. All right, Shadow Oracle. What can we tell my Capricorns? There could be an opportunity that arrives via a sibling or through a sibling. This could be your sibling, like passing your name on to someone or it's almost like throwing your name in the in the ring or in the hat for something and then your name gets pulled and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't put my name in the You know what I mean? There, there's an element of surprise, but it's it could be good. Self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. Ooh. Too many cards. How about like one more, two more? What do we got for Capricorn? Someone may be traveling to come see you, particularly a family member. And then obsessiveness. Write down what you are obsessing over. Realize that it is emotionally draining you. There we go. Those two totally make sense with that card. Um, I was having trouble linking those, but that actually did it perfectly for me. So let's see. <clears throat> this, oh, this one flipped over. What does this say? Resentful. Think of, uh, think of loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent. It's restricting your emotional happiness. Interesting. All right. And then I want to give you an Oracle card too. Let's do this one, I guess. Sacred Symbols Oracle. <clears throat> For Capricorn. What message can I put along with this? <clears throat> yeah, let your guard down. Uh, there's there's a need for you to go, come into this with open arms, whether it's a person or a, uh, a an opportunity. All right, so let me read you what this says. I almost opened right to it. Message, a letter, text, email, vision, dream, conversation, music, or some other form of message is coming regarding your current situation. Be open to receiving it. Meditate on this symbol to draw the message from your ancestors and guides to you at this time. The symbol is the lunar moth. Moth, uh, sorry, moths symbolically are known for delivering messages, and depending on how big or small, they can tell you the impact of the message. Um, that little symbol may actually show up to you on, on like a piece of fabric or I don't know. I don't know. Something about that is important. So that may help give you clarity in the coming weeks. And if it's not making sense now, again, have faith. You should be looking out for this symbol. And this color specifically. I feel like this is a very kind of unique almost like pea soup color. So something about that, you may see someone wearing that color sweater or that, you know, something about that color is very specific. 
So wherever you are in that moment, there's there's a message there from the universe, and hopefully it makes sense to you in the moment if it doesn't now. All right, Capricorns, that's what I got for you. Thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.